Each day, the people of Robinson wash their hands, flush toilets, turn on showers, and fill their water bottles. These actions have one thing in common. The city of Robinson's water and wastewater services make them possible. You pay for these services monthly, and the rates we charge cover what it costs to provide them. Next year, these rates are going to change to better align with the city's priorities and the community's needs. After an independent review of the city's rate structure, we found that our current rates are preventing the city from ensuring we can provide affordable, reliable service in the future, ensuring everyone pays for what they use, and incentivizing wise water use. Effective January 1, 2024, this change will take place. We're updating our rate structure, which means we're changing the elements that make up the total amount you pay for water and wastewater service. Our rate structure includes two parts, a fixed fee and a volume charge. The fixed fee is a flat fee based on the size of your meter. It helps us pay for things like customer service, billing, and system maintenance. Under our new structure, your fixed fee will look a little different. Residential customers will have lower fixed fees to help us achieve more affordable rates. Commercial customers will see new fixed fees that match industry standards. This will help ensure that commercial customers pay their fair share. A volume charge is the rate you pay per 1,000 gallons of water you use. This will look a little different too. Residential customers currently get charged in two tiers. We are adjusting that to four tiers to encourage wise water use. To ensure wastewater rates reflect the city's priorities, we're updating those as well. We're raising the fixed fee for wastewater and removing the wastewater cap. Both of these actions will help the city fully recover our wastewater system costs and invest in infrastructure that will keep the system functioning. So, what does all this mean for your bills? Residential customers who use less than 10,000 gallons per month will likely experience a decrease in their bills. Those who use over 10,000 gallons per month will likely experience an increase. Commercial water customers who are lower water users with smaller meters are likely to see a decrease. Higher users with larger meters will likely experience an increase. For wastewater, there will be an increase across the board. However, low water users will see a lower increase than higher users. These changes will ensure that you can continue to rely on the city's water and wastewater services for years to come. Learn more about these rate adjustments and their impacts at bit.ly slash cor rate study.